Alright everybody, it's time to do a little bit of testing. It's been a little while since I tested a new champ, and honestly Kate isn't even brand new. It's just, well, I never played Kate Bishop, so uh, it's time to play Kate Bishop. Let's see when she came out this year even. Uh, Pre-order it by release. Okay, yeah, yeah, she actually came out a little bit ago here. Not that, not that long ago. Uh, four champions released, um, uh, you know, ahead of Kate Bishop there, but, um, not that bad. Uh, anyway, let's get a tweet out, though, so we can get started here. Uh, dearest, yet Marvel champions, um, uh, seeing how I voted for Kate and all, um, I think it's about time I learned how to play her. Um, mm -mm -mm. With a new, oh, I should say this too, with a new uh, learning technique. Um, <laughs> yeah, I don't know. Do I really need to include that? <laughs> no, I guess I don't need to include that. All right. Okay. Seeing I voted for Kate and all, I think it's about time I learned how to play her. Teet! Okay. Uh, the new learning technique I will reveal to all of you in just a moment. It's very uh, top secret stuff here. Uh, hold on. Almost messed that up. <laughs> Stop! Levi, dude, thank you again. Is that keeping the streak alive? I actually can't remember because I, I, I mean, I think it is, right? Um, normally I, I just have the name in there and it tells me, but I had to make a change yesterday, so, uh, I think that is, uh, perhaps, I think it is, four days, okay, four days it is, man, god dang, dude, well, thank you very much, Roger, oh, missed it by just this much, saying, oh, nah, Levi with the quickness, dude, Levi with the freaking quickness, four in a row, also, BJ, can you walk me through becoming a member? I had to get a new uh, new debit card, so my membership didn't renew. It's a good question. I don't really know how to become a member. <laughs> um, I I think there's a button. It, it, uh, it, there's either... Uh, it depends on what device you're on. Uh, if there's not like an obvious UI button thing, it might be the dollar sign thing in the chat. If you have one of those, if that doesn't work, well, there's a um, a membership link in the description. Uh, probably the second link, I think. I can't actually see them right now, but um, yeah, it should say membership or something like that, and uh, that should work. <laughs> I'm not not entirely sure, but uh, I think so. Um, whoa, what is that? What were you just wait, 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 Roger? What did you just put in the chat? I've never seen that. Before. Oh, what the? That's weird. It just says iPhone. What the heck? Wait, hold on. Oh, is that telling me the current viewer number in here? Oh, that's so weird. Oh, that's so bizarre. When I, when I hover over someone's name in the chat, it tells me... Oh, it doesn't do it for everybody. That's so weird, dude. I don't know what is happening. It's not even there anymore. Alright, well, whatever. Uh, YouTube, they're doing some stuff in the back end. I have no idea what they're doing. Um, they're not... Uh, they're, they're sometimes good about communicating changes and updates that they do. Uh, but very often they're not. <laughs> so, I actually don't know what the hell is going on. Oh, well. Um, either way, Roger, thank you very much for the buck as well. Appreciate, uh, both you, Levi, and Roger. Uh, afternoon, BG. Afternoon, Scars and Script. <clears throat> afternoon. Uh, hello, Bald Capper. What's up, Potato God? Have fun, BG, and remember, don't read the stats. Don't read the stats. Are stats bad? Oh, so here's what I want to do, by the way. Um, 
to learn how to play the champ a little easier. I, I figure, you know, everyone's telling me to just to look at the deep dive, especially Karate Man. I wonder why. So, uh, I figure, you know what, instead of, like, reading through all the description, uh, we'll just kind of, kind of look around a little bit in here, uh, you know, take a, take a little watch through of this. We don't necessarily have to watch all of it, um, but, uh, I figure maybe even just, like, the first five minutes, uh, because that takes us through the signature ability, or maybe we'll watch more of it, I don't know, maybe we will watch the whole thing, who knows, but, uh... Couldn't hurt to, to start out with a little bit of learning that way, huh? Oh, man, what do we got here? What's up, Karate Man? Speak of the Karate Man. Speak of the freaking Karate Man. The only thing that we will be learning is how Kabam will shaft us in the next coming months. Maybe. Uh, you know what? Today, Kabam did a, a good deed, though, I would describe it as. Because they banned a whole bunch of cheaters, which makes me feel good. Uh, yo, what's up, LaFleur? Uh, how you doing there, buddy? Um, let me go ahead and get Kate all ranked up, though. We gotta do that first, I guess. Um, I guess I should not have backed away the way I just did. I should feed some of this ISO here first. And then go get some rank up stuffs if I need it. Um, but we'll start here. Oh, God. Yeah, I only have 31 ISO bricks in the overflow, it seems. Okay. Welp. Off to the store we go. Mm, let's see here. I think I have to go this way. Yes. Featured items. Okay, good on those. I think I'm good on everything except for ISO. Um, but I'll check the I'll check the rank of gems as well. We'll see. Did they ban cheaters today? Yeah. They did a, a, a an arena band wave, and um, people who just missed uh, Moon Dragon and um, uh, Adam Warlock, uh, be on the lookout. You might get bumped up enough spots if enough cheaters got banned. Uh, that will allow you to get the six star version of the champ. And I think they will retroactively get me a Legends title uh, I earned zero percent. No, unfortunately. That's the, I mean, uh, the thing is this about, about the cheaters and stuff. Uh, it's great that Kabam banned cheaters. Uh, it still doesn't fix the issue that they exist in the first place, but there is no fixing that. That will never be fixed. People will always look to, uh, um, to cheat you out of something, you know? Uh... I don't know. I feel like they try to justify it to themselves uh, by thinking that they're cheating Kabam. But all the rewards in this game, they they work off of like a like a competitive system, even if you don't see it that way. Um, you know. Oh, do they change this? When I look look at the look at the menu, is that a bug or is that intended? It, it it's see through the featured item thing. I feel like that's probably a, a new bug because the other ones aren't like that. Interesting. Uh, only affects the uh, the beta, I guess, though. So whatever. Uh, but anyway, yeah, man. It's, the cheaters they 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 cheat directly against the player base. They don't cheat against Kabam. Um, but who knows? Maybe they don't even see it that way. Maybe they just don't care. Maybe they uh, they know that they're screwing people over, and they're just like, well, I'm gonna continue screwing people over. Yeah, I don't know. Bug? Yeah, right. Not in this game, mister. <laughs> yeah, what was I thinking? Why, oh, why would I think there's a bug in MCOC? Can you really succeed at this game as a free-to-play? I've been trying to go balls deep for a long time. It depends on your definition of success. Um, if your definition of success is can you beat all of the PvE content in this game? As in, like, story content and... Um, you know, the, like the, 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 the side quest style content, uh, the Everest content as Kabam refers to it as, like Abyss of Legends and so on, uh, then the answer is yes, you can succeed at this game, uh, totally free to play. Um, I've, I, I could do all of that stuff and my account is 100% free to play, even though I'm not currently up to, up to date on uh, exactly everything. Um, when it comes to 
being competitive in PvP environments like Alliance War, uh, Prestige and Alliance Quest, or the Battlegrounds, um, I would say no. It's not, uh, it's not realistic. Um, you, you can still maybe do like some player tournaments that, you know, uh, control for, um, you know, rosters. If there's like a, you know, three star only tourney or something like that. Sure. Uh, but outside of that, no, it's not realistic at all to be free to play and, uh, competitive in that way. Um, uh, Devon Banks sending over a buck saying BG witty, witty, please. Okay, let's see. Uh, what do we have here? Ooh, is this another another Lego set? Hey, BG, what's up, brother? How's it hanging? Uh, you know, the usual questions how was your day and how's your night? All good over here, dude. Uh, new addition to the Thor Lego family finished uh, product pick almost done. Dang, dude. You almost blasted through this 564-piece uh, set already, huh? Okay, the Asgard... Uh, this is the Asgard Tours. I think that's what that says. Uh, you could tour Asgard. Nice. <laughs> I like it, dude. Uh, awesome. Hold on a sec. Did I see... I'm seeing tags from White Mummy. Is White Mummy in here, too? If your de definition of free to play is keeping up with the grants, don't try to catch up <laughs> light years behind. Well, maybe. I've been pretty casual for a while at this point, LaFleur, so. Um, but still, yeah, it's. Uh, here's here's the. Here, uh, let me. Let me uh, add a little bit more to my answer of is it possible to, like, you know, keep up free to play and stuff? You will have to dedicate a serious amount of time uh, to this game. And uh, you might be okay with that. That might be something you're looking you know, looking for in a game. Uh, there'd be nothing wrong if that is what you're looking for. But if that's not what you're looking for and you're just like, I, I don't want to have to be tied to uh, a game all the time. Is it possible to keep up uh, still without spending? Then the answer would be just a flat out no. IBG, hope you're having a great time. Two posts on Twitter, please. All right, White Mummy. Let's look at post number one here. Let's see. Uh, PS Alliance War can also use some hammering. Agreed. Uh, both on those who merc and higher mercs. Double agreed. <laughs> I like this, dude. Just a, <laughs> a lot of hammers falling from the sky right now. Uh, I like it. All right, let's go see the other one. Uh, the other one is, is this safe to put on stream? What in the world? Thanks for sharing this sneak peek from bald cap calendar photo shoot with us. Oh yes, of course. The, uh, the calendar photo shoot. Uh, yes. With, um, <sighs> you know, I just told people I, I didn't have any tats and uh i was trying to keep that a secret until the calendar came out oh geez now people know the truth um <laughs> god just the the lack of care kind of model face <laughs> right here sweet jesus all right <laughs> sorry to everybody <laughs> you might need to cleanse your eyes uh after seeing that <laughs> image oh man uh, all right, T Pizzle with the bugs. Hey, this is how upsetting it is. Wanting to be in live chat listening to the playback on my two hour drive uh, from work. Ah, wait, hold on. Is there part one of this? Uh, six foot nine power forward, more like five foot nine power bottom. Oh, that's what you were trying. Okay, I see. I see. You've been holding that. <laughs> you just been sitting on that comment, uh, waiting for your time to strike, huh? Okay. Hey man, at least I have a power something, alright? You know what I mean? There's a lot of there's a lot of power somewhere within. That's good enough for me, I guess. So Uh This is a great time BG was trying to decide whether to rank for Kate or not. Okay. Well, Jordan, we're gonna be learning a lot today, hopefully. Uh <laughs> make it go away, mommy. Clarissa, listen. You know you love it. 
I'll get a tat with you and Laura next time. I'm in the Pacific Door of the West. LaFleur, um, I could tell you I'm probably not going to be getting, getting a, a, a tat, but uh, I'd love to see the pictures uh, of whatever you get, you know. Uh, waiting for two days for that one, man. Oh, was it two days? Was it not even yesterday? Oh, man. T Pizzle. All right, Kate Bishop, she's all leveled up at this point. Got her to rank four. Man, this game's easy. You know what I mean? So easy to get these champs ranked up. I don't think we could take champs to rank five on the beta yet. Um, I think soon we might have access to seven stars. Beyond, like, the 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 um, the base pool. Uh, but we'll have to see on that. Um... But I, I, I think we're going to have them soon, at least. Okay. So, SIG 200. All right. At this point, we're all kind of set up here. And I'm not answering that because I fear Mama Baldikins. That's the same. Okay. Um, mm -mm 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 -mm. Let's go ahead and take a look at... Uh, this deep dive here featuring what is going on summoners we're back here to the karate man hey do i need to I feel like i need to is there is there a link to, to the karate man's channel <laughs> somewhere in here i feel like we still need to give him the proper shout outs this is still uh his hard work in these today with another champion deep dive Today, we're talking about Kate Bishop. Ow! Oh, first piece of knowledge. She's a skilled champion. We're learning a lot here. So sit back and relax, because it's time to get into it. Uh, don't tell me how to sit, Karate Man. It's pretty easy? Okay. Breathing Gamer, it's nice when to Kate see you. What's up, Royal? a basic attack while suffering from a stun... Oh, hold on. I oh, Jesus, what did I do? Cheek oh, God, suffering. I can't even watch a video properly. Um, okay. When attacked by a basic attack while suffering a stun debuff, Kate has a 100% chance to purify the stun and evade the hit. Oh, okay. From a stun debuff, she has a 100% chance to purify the stun and evade the hit. Also, when strong. she performs a well-timed block against a basic attack, she has a 100% chance to evade and counterattack with a taser arrow. Oh, this inflicts a passive okay. stun for three seconds, but is removed when the opponent is struck two times. When this happens... Dude, that's very strong already. Wait, my ears? Is this is this too loud? Uh, false staff? Oh, pretty, oh, Jesus. Lag saying pretty loud too? Oh, I'm sorry, you guys. Whoops. Whoops. Sorry. Uh, hopefully this is better. If not, I'll be on the lookout. But this already seems very strong. So, uh... Her personal evades go on cooldown for 10 seconds. Is that better, you guys? Or do we need attack, to She support? inflicts a non-stacking tracking debuff on the opponent for 10 seconds, bypassing the effects of miss. Hold up, dude. I totally missed that because I was trying to pay attention to the volume. Okay, okay. On her heavy attack, she inflicts heavy a non-stacking tracking debuff on the opponent for 10 seconds, bypassing okay. the effects of miss. That's pretty nice. Also, if it was charged for more than one second, it knocks the opponent back farther than normal. Interesting. And if this attack okay. knocks them into the wall, she inflicts a crush passive on the opponent for two seconds and refreshes all of her trick arrows. But more on that later. Additionally, while Kate has the defender cornered, they're 60% more likely to use their special. Now, let's check out her special attacks. This already sounds pretty strong. Holy crap, I think I'm doing drugs right now because I cannot... See. What is this? Um... <laughs> There we go. Uh, she seems pretty strong already. Like, if this ha if she has good damage, then, uh, yeah. Uh, this is, I like this. Kate's special attacks gain passive true accuracy throughout the entire attack. Additionally, pressing the block input after her first hit slows down time, and releasing it precisely when Kate releases her arrow counts as a perfect release bonus. I'm still a little hesitant 
to enjoy these mechanics uh, just because of potential input issues, but um, hopefully this one's not too bad. Uh, we'll see. We'll see. Which grants an indefinite dialed in passive, increasing the duration of effects inflicted by her trick arrows by 10%. This maxes out at two stacks, but failing to activate a perfect release removes one instead. While defending, okay. Kate has Whatever. up to a 100% chance to activate a perfect release bonus based on her missing health. Kate has four trick arrows, each inflicting different effects on the final hit of the special one, lasting 12 seconds and maxing out at two stacks. Starting with Cryo, which inflicts a cold snap passive, dealing energy damage to the opponent. However, okay. when performing a perfect release, she inflicts a critical cold snap passive instead. Next up, Tranquilizer, where she inflicts a 40% potency Tranquilize debuff. When performing a perfect release, this debuff gains plus 12% potency. With Caltrops, she'll inflict a Caltrops pet. This is a new ability that deals instant bleed damage to the opponent whenever they dash forward or backward. Both ways? Okay, that's pretty good. I was wondering, I'm like, I don't think I remember seeing Caltrops anywhere outside of a node. That sounded new. Okay. When performing a perfect release, this passive also deals double damage when the opponent charges their heavy attack. And finally, Dissolver. Kate inflicts a fragility debuff on the opponent, reducing their block proficiency and increasing her critical damage rating. When performing a perfect release, she also inflicts a non-stacking Sunder passive, setting the opponent's critical resistance to zero while active. Oh, wow. That's actually really strong. Setting crit resistance to zero? Dude, I mean... Uh, I don't know. I guess that's not really going to come into play in every situation, of course. But uh, crit resistance is like one of the tankiest stats to have. It's... Part of the reason why Doom is so damn tanky is because you can't land a critical hit against him. Uh, and then it's the armor that he has, because crits normally pierce armor. If, if you can't crit the opponent, then you can't pierce their armor. So as long as you can crit the opponent, it doesn't really matter how much um, armor the opponent has. So that's cool. Zemo has that too, super powerful? Didn't even realize. I probably did when, when I was going through those abilities, but... Uh, <laughs> Both ways? Oh, man. Simon's probably going to use that in a future video. <sighs> now, Kate starts each fight with her cryo arrow ready and cycles her trick arrow after each special attack or by double tapping block. Okay. She can also choose a different starting arrow in the pre-fight menu, but this disables automatic cycling after her special attacks. Now, if Kate strikes the opponent while they're recovering from a heavy attack or a special attack, she pauses all of these effects for 5 seconds. And while defending, Kate's trick arrow effects deal 75% less damage. With the special 2, the second hit of this attack inflicts a trick arrow on the opponent and can apply through block. With a perfect release... Wait, 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 can apply what? Hold on a sec. With the special 2, the second hit of this attack inflicts a trick arrow on the opponent and can apply through block. Oh, just apply through block. With a okay, perfect yeah. release, this effect is inflicted twice. The final hit bombards the opponent with putty arrows, inflicting a passive stun for 3.5 seconds. This stun is removed when the opponent is struck twice. Oh, what? Little baby kingpin! The oh, special no. three. At the end of this attack, Kate gains a non-stacking cruelty passive, increasing her critical damage rating for 12 seconds. A perfect result on the special three minigame counts as a perfect release. And when doing so, she okay. also gains a non-stacking precision passive, increasing her critical rating for the same duration. I imagine probably not going to be using special three too much. Uh... Told you he has the attention span of a dead goldfish. Wow. Why does it gotta be a dead goldfish? Um, These anyway. passives follow the same pause and refresh abilities as her trick arrows. Now, let's check out her signature ability. 
When awakened, the max stack limit for her dialed-in passives is increased by up to three stacks, for a total of five. And each of her dialed-in passives increase the potency of her trick arrows by up to 15%. Additionally, striking the opponent's block now pauses all of her trick arrows for up to two seconds. Now let's take her out for a spin in the champion rotation. Oh, let's go for that to begin, spin, Mikey perform boy. Perform a well-timed block and leave them passively stunned. Dash in with your medium attack and charge your heavy to push them back towards the wall. Rush in and build up to just under two bars of power. Then launch your special one to place your first trick arrow. Continue using your special one to apply the rest of your trick arrows, but make sure to weave in heavy attacks to keep the defender pinned against the wall and refresh the duration of your effects as you go along. Now that you're all built up, you can take advantage of her Caltrop's passive to deal extra damage to the opponent while you pause and refresh the rest of your effects. And if they aren't already knocked out, you could stack on another set of trick arrows as you watch their health bar. This seems like a lot of damage over time. Uh, it is a high ranked K Bishop here, but still, like, look at those damage numbers. Melt before your eyes. Now, let's check out some of her notable synergies. All right, that's where we're going to stop. Um, okay. The only thing that I might have missed, because now we don't need to spend any time reading. We had Michael uh, read it to us. Um, special things for long fight. Yeah, I figured. Uh, any anytime there's like a buff associated with a special three, that's kind of what the game is telling you. Like, yeah, if the fight's going to be long, uh, sure, get a, go, go for the special three. But... Um, the only thing that I didn't really see is, do you run out of these shots? Did I miss that part? Or is it just a, a rotation and you can double tap block um, to, to rotate it as well? Uh, that, and I kind of want to see the timing again on the, on the, on the specials. Uh, they all have perfect releases, right? Or is it only the special two that has a perfect release? Infinite shots, but stack limit of two. Okay. Okay, okay. Um, where was the perfect release timing on this? What's back here? Additionally, doing it precisely bit. when Kate releases her arrow counts as a perfect release time. Okay. And additionally, pressing the block input after her first hit slows down time. And so after the first hit, releasing block. it precisely when Kate releases her arrow counts as a per And then right, uh, right before the release happens. Higher attack. Um, additionally, pressing the block input after her first hit slows. So this is for special one as well. Uh, is special one and special two? Well, and special three, I guess. Cause special three is the, the little mini game, though. Uh, the second hint is a trick hour and applies through block. A perfect release inflicts its effect twice. Um, okay. All right. Well, let's just go screw around a little bit. Uh, I will take a look at the synergies later, but uh, I want to, um, I want to wait on those. Uh, we're going to go into the... Yeah, let's go in the new testing area. Actually, uh... Man loves beans. Yeah, yeah, let's just do new testing area. A little on the fence if I wanted to go to uh, Realm of Legends, but... Um, I think not. Ooh, I also want to see what masteries I have. I'm assuming I don't have recoils on. Um, yeah, with all these points remaining. And that's fine. Um, no recoils, no Mystic Dispersion, which doesn't matter in this case. I've got, uh, basically just the bare essentials here, and, um, that's good enough. I have, I have Pierce maxed out right now, which doesn't really do a whole lot, uh, so don't worry about that. Normally you wouldn't have that. I think I was testing something, um, when I put those points in, so. Uh, Roger sending over a buck, though, Roger. Uh, there's no message. Oh, wait. Oh, you set up a, a, wait, you set up a monthly tip. Oh, dude, I didn't even think, I didn't even know that was possible. Holy cow. I think you might be the first person to ever use that feature. Cause I'm like, there's no message. You did it through, uh, Streamlabs though. Not, uh, not channel membership. 
Uh-oh. When I said the link in the description, I... Oh, Roger. <laughs> if that was intentional, well, thank you very much. If that was not intentional, because I think I said the second link, uh, the channel memberships, to, to get the banana, I think that might have been what you wanted. And I'm so sorry. Uh, I tried setting up the monthly membership. I don't know what's going on. Yeah, that's the... I think you used the wrong link there, buddy. Uh, <laughs> I hate to say. Um... Either way, like, the, the, the money goes to me, which I really appreciate. But, um, I think you wanted the, uh, like, the YouTube channel membership, which gives the, uh, the emojis and the, um, the banana, the growing banana and stuff. Scammed, big scam channel here. Oh, no, I'm a scammer. <laughs> scammer confirmed. Um, <laughs> T. Bizzle, thank you for the buck. Uh, saying, not sure if Kate will be the same. Just be prepared. Wait, what? Any champ that shoots is shooting into the sky. Oh, I fought Green Goblin earlier, and his special one was uh, Wild Just Like Domino. Oh, that's true. There are those issues going on right now. Oh, boy. Well, I hope it's not like that. We'll see. Only one way to find out. The second link just takes me to your YouTube homepage. Really? interesting um i think you said you're on iphone i don't i i don't know how to do the membership uh on iphone uh but that's weird that it takes it takes you there hmm it's like hold on let me open that link in a new tab right now What the? Why does it do that? What the hell? This is weird. It searches. Oh, I see. I copied the wrong thing. Okay. Yeah. On, on PC, it, it takes me to the. It give. It shows me a button where I can click join. So that link still works on PC. I don't know why it uh, doesn't do that for iOS. Ugh. Okay. Um, let's go do a test fight, though. I wish I could tell you how to how to sort that, Roger. I would. I would. The only thing I could tell you is to to cancel whatever you uh, set up until things get figured out, because I would hate for you to um, uh, get charged. You know. Um, can't say scam joining is, is right there next to subscribe. Is there just a, a join button on uh, iPhone or whatever? Anyone hear about 20 plus members of TCN being banned? Uh, you know, I didn't, I don't know the number, but I did hear there was a lot, which is really not that surprising that that alliance is like known cheater alliance for a very long time now. Uh, sadly. Oh, crap. I'm already messing things up. I was supposed to, um... Oh, there's a cooldown on it, huh? I was supposed to, uh, medium and then heavy attack to get this guy backed up against the wall. Uh, and then I'm supposed to get close to two bars of power, apparently. Which I'm there now, so... Let's blast that. And late release. Oh, are you kidding me? I thought I nailed that. Okay, there's the perfect release. Okay, so perfect release on the second try. Doesn't seem to be that difficult. Interesting. Ooh, early release on that one, though. Okay, okay, okay. Yeah, I'm sure it takes a little bit of uh, practice to, to get it down. I should try a special two here, probably, right? Okay, there's a the perfect release. Alright, so I'm like 50-50 on it right now. Um, this guy's almost dead already, though. That's nice. Oh, crap. Whoops. That was totally an accident, but whatever. 
Perfect release again. Okay, so I'm three for five out of my first five uh, the perfect releases. Um, doesn't seem too difficult to play. Uh, I might need a, another refresher on like exactly what I'm supposed to be um, doing here. From the Karate Man. But otherwise, I think I'm doing it all right. <laughs> I think I'm doing it all right. It's just that I'm not really... This might not be the best place to, like, you know, see the utility in action. It might... I may need to face opponents that have, like, you know, miss and stuff like that. Uh, All right. Roger, you figured it out. Hey, there we go, dude. There we go. Um, that is the actual membership. Should say six months, SMH. Also, shout out to Falstaff for the steps. Uh, Falstaff. Uh, well, thank you for uh, assisting. So, it still does keep track. Even though it says, has become a member as if it's like a new member. Um, you still have the, the triple banana. It's still keeping track from uh, all the previous months. So, you didn't lose any uh, progress there or anything. Um, Roger, thank you, dude. Also, the moon button isn't next to the subscribe button or subscribe on iPhone, so all you nerds saying <laughs> eat my poop. There we go. Take the high road. <laughs> eat my poop. Uh, all right, oxygen with the five. Saying so whole block after the second hit for special one, and after first hit for special two. Uh, I was just doing after first hit on special one. I think. Wasn't I? Uh, also, don't need to have all debuff uh, for Battleground. Double Cold Snap and Refresh is enough. Okay. Uh, okay. Points taken. You can do a special two if you want. This is from the Karate Man. Special one, Double Cold Snap is probably fastest if you're thinking for Battlegrounds. Okay. All right. Let me try to control that for this next one. Because I wasn't... Re I, was, I was mostly just worried about, like, the timing... But now let me actually pay attention to the icons below my uh, health bar for the next fight here. Uh, T Pizzle sending over another buck though, saying ignoring MCOC for a second. But as an avid D2 lover myself, you should give D4 a chance. Played for a few hours today and felt very nostalgic. And now I I'm, I I already gave it a chance, T Pizzle, and uh, I'm out on that game. It looks a lot better than Diablo 3 did, but it has the same ultimate downfall, in my opinion, as Diablo 3. Which is that after a short period of time, like after the initial leveling experience, it's just like an endless grind. And uh, yeah, endless grind for marginal upgrades and stuff like that. And you could totally say, well, that's what Diablo 2 is. But that's never how I treated Diablo 2. I treated Diablo 2 like... Uh, Almost like a roguelike sort of game where, you know, I would uh, I would make a character, I'd play through, um, you know, find new stuff, make a new character again with all the stuff I accumulated on the first two characters, and I would just like rinse and repeat playing all different, uh, you know, types of um, of characters and stuff, and. Some of the some of the features for uh, um, Diablo 4 they look pretty fun, but again, I I just I don't want to be in that endless um, a ARPG loop again, because like I what I realized is that I um, it's not oh it was early release it's not ARPGs that made me love. You know, Diablo 2, it was the, uh... On, rotating around. Okay, now I've got Cold Snap again. It was all of the, uh, the, the systems unique to Diablo 2. All, like, the item systems and stuff like that. Um... And, yeah. Diablo 4 is, uh... Mm -mm. It's gonna be a fine time for those looking for that type of game. But I'm not looking for that type of game. Alright. Oh, should I go for a special 2 now? Let's try a special 2. Should heavy attack him, right? Because that's how you... Fresh those. 
Ooh, didn't realize I was hitting him there. Okay, special two. Let's try it. Oh, yeah, I, that was definitely early. I could tell it was early. Okay. I like Gabe Bishop so far, though, and it's pretty nice just watching the deep dive, dude. I'm going to have to do that every single time now. I did not hit the button quickly enough, or I hit it too early after the first hit to slow down. So if you're having trouble, <laughs> um, be on the lookout for that. You do have to wait for that first hit to happen. Uh, otherwise, you will... Uh, not slow down time here. Okay. That was the perfect release on special two. Special two didn't seem that strong, but maybe I'm not realizing its its potential here. Okay, another perfect release. Pretty straightforward. Uh, yeah. I feel like, I feel like I already have an understanding of how to play this champ. Let me, let me do this. I want to go, uh, I want to see the damage. I want to see the damage for two different things right now. The first is I want to try special three. And then I want to just try with recoil masteries. Uh, I want to take a look at some synergies and stuff. Um, what's the health pool on these champs again? Okay, 195k for the first one here. So, okay, so you always start out with, with the cold snap active. Um, then tranquilize, then, then caltrops. So, if you want to, let's, let's say this. Hold on a sec, let me pull up her info this way. So, after cold snaps... Um, where's the list of arrows? Here we go, arrow effects. Um, so yeah, that's that's a good amount of energy damage right there, man. Uh, so after the cold snaps... I guess you would just want caltrops in a... in a... in a situation where you don't need, um, tranquilize? Um, Dissolver doesn't seem that interesting either. Hmm. I guess that's what you do, right? Um, oh, hold on a sec. Let me check this special two description one more time as well. So special two... Second hit is the trick arrow. Uh, oh, that's right. It can apply through block. Uh, sometimes that could be really powerful, I'm guessing. But for the most part, eh. Uh, and then the final hit bombards the opponent with putty arrows. Okay, just the stun, yeah. Okay. Hmm. What are her base stats anyway? Let me, let me take a look at that. Because now that I think about it some more, like, maybe I don't even want to test the special three. Because, okay, sure, we're getting some crit damage rating increase here, but crit damage rating doesn't affect her special arrows, right? Is there some sort of hidden... Oh, wait, wait. Benefiting from Kate's uh, critical damage multiplier. Ah, son of a... It does... It is affected by it. Okay. <laughs> All right. So you do still want to get your crit damage up. Okay. Okay. I think this I think this champion was made by uh, by DLL. So if you're not aware, he before joining Kabam uh, was already a very high level player of MCOC. Uh, so he probably realized like, well, how much does crit damage really matter if all the damage is coming through a damage over time effect? Um, wow, dude, very high block proficiency. That's nice to see. Even though you're not really taking the block damage a lot of times on those parries, right? But I guess sometimes you need to throw heavy attacks. Um, 
Mm -mm. Let me read this part again, too. Kate's heavy attack knocks uh, back the opponent further if charged for more than one second. Oh, that's right. Charge it for a second. Okay. Uh, and then inflict non stacking tracking debuff by passing the effective miss. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. But doesn't it, it, it um, if, you have a knock, if a heavy attack knocks the opponent into the wall, okay, that's what it has to do to refresh the debuffs. Okay, just making sure. Okay, cool. All right. Yeah, I don't know. She seems very easy to play. One point higher than Doom? <laughs> Is it really? Wow. Why the F is her block versus higher than Doom's? Uh, she's a chick with a bow. That's a great point. She does not have a shield. She does not have, like, some special alien skin that uh, I feel like Cole um, has. Ooh, I gotta rotate my, my, my debuff here. Okay, there we go. Now I've got the cold arrows. Okay, the perfect release. Um, the only thing I don't like is you can't double tap while doing other actions. Like, it has to actually be a block. Ooh, late release. Bummer. I also... I said I was going to go special three here. Or heavy attack... Hmm... I want to test something real quick. Apparently I'm going to test if I can die. And the answer is yes. Yes, I can. Um, I wanted to see if there's any world where... Uh, instead of doing a medium into heavy, you do the heavy into medium. Is that smarter? Let me, let me test this real quick. Oh, God, that didn't hit. Okay. Uh, let me try doing a little light attack first. No, that's too close. See, you can only hit the opponent twice. She, ha she has a double hit heavy. And you can only hit the opponent twice before that stun goes away. So what I was hoping for is, like, that heavy connects... And then you can go back in and do a five-hit combo. But I guess they maybe accounted for that. Let me try to get him over against the wall a little bit more. And then I'll try that again. Definitely not connecting. No. Uh, hmm. Alright, well, probably not worth setting up then, because you have to do it pretty quick. I feel like the special two might be easier to do perfect releases with. Not totally sure, though. They're not bad to do, either way. It'll take a little bit of practice to, like, get it super consistently down, but, uh... <clears throat> it's not that bad. All right, let me let me go ahead and uh, I'm gonna change masteries actually. Uh, the, the special three. Ah, screw it. Let me let me test special three too. I wasn't going to, but I find the special one easier. But I suppose it's subjective. I guess so. I because there's a tell with the special two. Hold on a sec. Let me see if I have the replay. Yeah, I should be able to. Okay, so I think I get to a special two here first, right? So... Let me show the uh, the timing release. Skip ahead a little bit. Okay, here we go. So this is special two, and boom! Like, that, that little sparkle right there, that's when I hit release. But the special one, I, I, I think it's a little different, right? Here's a special one. Oh, I guess there's a little sparkle there, too. But, like, I couldn't see it as well. Huh. Maybe it's getting, like, right up inside the dude here, you know? 
Let me go back to that special too. these missed heavies come on throw the special too oh please there we go yeah because look at this i'm like nowhere near him for the special too i think that's what made it it just makes it easier for me to see it, ultimately it's like something you can feel too i'm not always looking for the the sparkle um it's a it's a little bit of a feel to it but just that, just that distance, it makes it more visible. I don't know if it was, maybe it was just because I'm, I was not against the wall. But I know, I think it's that, that cartwheel thing. I could, I, yeah, I just can't see it as well. All right. Anyway, let's get to a special three. And I want to try to get the perfect timing on the special three because I believe that gives uh, added bonus. So I'm just going to kind of combo normally until I get there. This is not something I would be doing for like a battleground match. I honestly don't know where I'd be doing something like this. Maybe maybe there's a node in battlegrounds where they're like, hey man, you start out with extra power. Or so I don't know. <laughs> I don't think Kabam's ever going to do that. Hey, you just start with a special three. But they might. Okay, I've got the perfect uh, release bonus. Oh, man. This is so adorable. Little baby Drax. Oh, God! That was pretty quick! I'm dying! What the hell? Oh, okay. All right, I've got my arrow set up here. No! Messed up the timing. <laughs> All right, let's try this again. Yeah, I, I mean, I released before the sparkle on that one. I think. But that that sucked. I was not expecting that, um, that animation in so early. Hold on. Let me look at this real quick again. So it says perfect release right here on screen. If I can control this by the frames, it'd probably be. Yeah, like the, the sparkle, I mean, I guess it did show there for that split second. Jeez, it's interesting. Um, okay, special three though. Ah, screw the special three. Screw that. Uh, she's honestly very good for, like, Abyss. Uh, so for future Everest stuff, she'll probably be solved with a special three rotation. You think so, Karate Man? Hmm. Well, let me see something else here. What did the perfect release bonus give again? So, again, a non-stacking cruelty passive increasing crit damage rating by that much for 12 seconds. Okay. Uh, and then, okay, so it's just like 3 to 4x bonus or whatever. Um, three and a half. Okay. Or I think it gives both, doesn't it? I think I saw that I had two of them. Right? Uh, let me just go back to that replay real quick. And special three. I was I I was like still watching and laughing at little baby Drax here get thrown around and then oh man just right back in it. But I oh it, oh it's one's cruelty and one's precision. Oh 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 oh. I didn't realize that. Okay. Okay so just the okay. Well, that ups her crit chance by uh, quite a bit. Interesting. She probably has like an over fifty percent crit chance. Um, not probably. It's 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 well over. Um. Okay. 
What makes her good for the abyss, though, Karate Man? Is it just being able to keep up the, the debuffs for such a long period of time? And, like, extending the, the fight by just not hitting that frequently? And just, like, heavy attacking every once in a while? Because it feels like she does a fairly high number of hits to, to get things going. Um, I don't know. The constant damage over time is insane. She could solo the collector. Oh, dang. Okay. Has MSD already done it? <laughs> if anybody can do it, it's MSD. Uh, some say he's in the abyss right now. <laughs> Um, can you heavy to refresh those two buffs of the special three? Uh, try it. I, I think so, right? Did it say the, the, the passives as well? Refresh all trick arrow effects. Uh, it felt like they were lasting more than 12 seconds, so. Were they paused? Uh, pretty pretty sure he is with Danny. That's yeah. Okay, Karate Man says yep. Okay, so confirmed. It does uh does refresh. Okay. Um, I mean, <sighs> I was gonna throw the the recoils on, but like I don't know that I necessarily should. Like she's clearly not a recoil kind of champ. So maybe I maybe I shouldn't test with those masteries. Dude, I, I just like how you can passively stun opponents uh, from parries. Because there's like stun debuff immune nodes or just times where you can't put a, a stun like a, a debuff period on the opponent, right? So like is she she pretty good right now in the current meta? Well, victory track meta with masochism, I don't know what Gladiator Circuit is looking like. But like against masochism, you'd still be able to to get your moves off. Um the all these are, you know, passives. Well, I guess the, the tranquilize is a debuff. Um so is fragility, but uh, damage just saying, yes, yeah, she's in my deck. Okay. Let's let's check out some of these uh, synergies. I'm curious for that. Let me see here. Okay, so for Kamala, charging a heavy attack generates a fury generates fury buffs twice as fast. That would only matter if you could take this champion into um, the Kamala challenge, which that challenge doesn't really matter these days, and uh, you wouldn't be able to do it anyway. Uh. Or maybe, dude, maybe Sweet is having a field day with that. I don't know. But uh, anyway, for Kate's side of things, uh, Kate needs to charge her heavy attack for half as long for increased knockback. Uh, okay. Whatever. Not all that interesting. Young Avengers, 5%. Oh, speaking of, hold on a sec. Tags real quick. Okay, so Young Avengers and Avengers. Um, hero, size small. Surprise, surprise. Almost all of the ladies at MCOC are size small. Uh, okay. Very, very low on the, uh, on, the, on the tags. On, like, the useful tags here, I would say. So. I, don't, I feel like tags, they're not as important as they used to be when Kabam was releasing more content involving tags but i don't know basically the uh the variants i guess um okay so let's see here this is for hashtag young avengers plus five co percent comet power rate and plus 500 percent or 500 block proficiency okay um and here's some of the uh examples i guess isn't i was gonna say hyperion but i don't think hyperion is young avenger i think hyperion is new avenger Oh, God, dude. Do we have... Like, how many Avenger types are there? Right? Because isn't that what Hyperion is? I think Stark Spidey, potentially, as well. Um, new Avenger. 
God, come on. Oh, maybe he's not anything. Okay. Well, I was right about Hyperion, at least. That's a little bit annoying, but I understand. Um, okay. I mean, plus 5% combat power rate. Not that noticeable, but uh, nice little bonus. So, that's cool. Uh, the block proficiency is certainly welcome in most situations for any champ. Um, okay. Let me see here. Ice Queens, Iceman, and Misty. When an opponent fails to trigger and evade due to cold snap and inflict a personal frostbite passive. It's not bad. Um, not amazing, but not bad, actually. All right, Emma, Elsa, and Kate. When an opponent fails to trigger and evade due to cold snap or reduced ability accuracy, inflict a frostbite passive for 10 seconds, dealing 50% of attack as energy damage when it expires. Um, okay. Yeah, also, like, somewhat decent. Okay. The Iceman one, that, that's the most interesting bit to me. Uh, I feel like kind of uh, using Kate and Iceman together would be pretty fun. All right, Partners, Hawkeye, Failing to activate a perfect release bonus only uh, removes one dialed in passive. Okay. Uh, Ronin entering Wrath stance refreshes per. Actually, hold on a sec. I want to go back to the Hawkeye one. I don't like the idea of this synergy. Failing to activate a perfect release bonus um, only removes one dialed in passive. I don't. I don't like the idea behind this. If this was part of a synergy where you got like something else and then also failing to activate it gives this but like uh, i don't know man synergies that are like purely safety nets if you mess something up unless it is like absolutely crucial to the champ like invisible woman for example um i can understand something uh, a synergy like that being like oh okay no that's actually pretty good but for hawkeye oh, come on man if you're good with Hawkeye, this does nothing for you. Um, because it's something you can you can always uh, achieve versus some versus something like Invisible Woman, where it's like doesn't matter how good you are at the game, you could mess up with Invisible Woman. All right. Anyway, Ronin entering Wrath stance refreshes personal disorient effects on the opponent and pauses them for three seconds. Okay, no one cares about Ronin. It's 2023. No one cared about that champion even when he was released. Moving on. Uh, for Kate, activating a perfect release bonus during Special Attack 2 grants two additional dial-in passives. See, that's what I'm talking about. They should do that, that same thing for Hawkeye. Hmm. All right. Yeah, that's a little, that's a little frustrating, but whatever. What are you going to do? Uh, okay. Don't call me princess. For America here, reduce the duration of the opponent's indestructible and regeneration buffs. By 40% for each unique parallel dimension. I don't really know how that champ works. So uh, I don't know how useful that is. But uh, reducing regeneration buffs. Maybe that's good. Uh, Kate, the max stack limit of all trick arrows is increased by one. That seems pretty strong. So, okay. With these two together, you can, you can get triple. Okay. Uh, let's, let's do this real quick. I want to throw those two on the team together. And we're going to go back to good old Realm of Legends, where the health pool is a little bit larger. And it's the beta, so I have her as a 7 star. That's really good for Chavez in war sometimes. I can see that, yeah. Okay, let's do it up. So I'm going to use that in your video of BG saying, don't call me a princess. Oh, come on, Clarissa. Stop giving him ideas. Don't. Here's an idea, Simon. Don't make another video. You know? Uh, how about that? Wait a minute. What? I waited until after the first hit right there. There's no way. Uh, there's no way I screwed that up. 
Oh my god, did it rotate around twice just now too? That's... Okay, there we go. Okay, perfect release. I'll let that first one fall off because I don't care about it. Or maybe it's not falling off. Oh, that's right. I'm going to have three, though. Okay, there's another perfect release. Wait a minute. I thought I was supposed to have three. Did I misinterpret that synergy? Oh, wait. I, didn't, I don't think I had the right thing. Ah, oh, jeez. Did I have the right thing on? Okay. Okay, there we go. Now I have three. Dude, that's so nice. That's so much damage. Oh my god. Whoops. Holy hell. I could see uh, why she'd be really good for the Abyss with this synergy. That's really good. I was messing this up pretty, pretty badly. Um... Let me try one more time with that. That's very strong, dude. I mean, if you think about it like this, normally um, Kate is able to have two stacks of her cold snap, right? Upping it to three is basically just increasing it by 50%. That's a lot. There's not really other characters that get that massive of a bonus uh, through synergy. I mean, I guess there are, but... It's not every day that you get a synergy that powerful. So now, like, that one cold snap. Oh, I gotta rotate this around to another cold snap. Rotating around, there's a few too many arrows for my liking. I wish there were three arrows. If I had to uh, critique something that no one really asked for my opinion on. Um, I find it a little annoying to have to rotate around so much. Also, it doesn't always rotate. I'm, dude, I just have to tap block so many times just now. And now my other things, they're gonna drop off. Yeah, I find it a lot easier to, to time the special too, personally. It's weird, man. I wasn't having any issues in the other quest. Once I got to Realm of Legends, I started having uh, a few issues. But look at that damage, dude. Her health is just dropping so fast. Oh, my God. Use pre-fight if you don't want to rotate around. Oh, wait. The pre-fight locks it in? Oh. I thought it was just a, a starting thing. Okay. Uh, well then let me restart this real quick. Let me try that real quick. Do a vote then. I will do what the people say. Okay. Should Simon stop making videos? May have added a couple words in there. Yeah, her DPS is, like, pretty dumb. That's super dumb, because that's every half second that, that damage is, is ticking. Damn it, dude. I was really hoping to end this poll before... Like, like if, if just the first person voted yes, I, I wanted to end the video. I wanted to end the poll. Oh, man. <laughs> all right, all right, all right. We don't need to see the rest of these, these damn poll. Uh, recalls are actually a little nice on her. Significantly increases cold snap damage. All right, I guess I'm going to toss those on too. You know what? Let's do that right now. Screw it. I don't think she's very recoil friendly at all, but maybe there's some world, some situation. Um, and screw it. Simon for the mod game. I think the community wants it. Well... We're not going to do a poll for that. All 
All right. Recoils activated. I really want to mess with the... Here's what I want to do. I want to do two tests. First, I want to I want to test the cold snap with with the um uh with this pre-fight and then I want to test the caltrops one. I want to see both of them and just kind of compare. Uh cuz there's situations where you might not be able to to put cold snap on the opponent. And I want to see what that that bleed is like. That bleed damage. It's not actually a bleed, but you know. Oh god, I always tap block randomly. And it rotated me around doing that. I can't help it, dude. I spam the, the crap out of the screen. Okay, perfect release. Look at that damage! And we're locked in here. Okay, perfect release number two. I gotta get a heavy attack off. Hit him against the wall, that's how it refreshes. Aw, oh, crap, I accidentally tap block. I just tap, I, dude, I, I tap block twice, two times in a row. So like four blocks, but two separate tries. Um, and it didn't rotate for that. That's so annoying. Oh, that was early. Oh, no, I messed it up. That was so early on my part. Son of a... Perfect timing matters more than your masteries. So, just get good with the champion. It's not that hard. I, I've been nailing the, the perfect release for the most part. But you can see I still mess it up there. Still, still new, still learning the champ. And, uh, yeah, that will happen. Okay, so now I want to try the Caltrops arrow. Let's give this a go. Uh, Shamat, I don't know if I'm saying your name right, but thank you for the loonies. Quite possibly Toonie. Saying, we are waiting for Simon's new video, hashtag on demand. Okay. Messiah, I think you know what to do now that you got this wrench. Uh, anyone saying anything positive about Simon? That's a permaban. Um, ooh, special three, special one, special one. Maybe the best rotation on longer DPS. Uh, just guy was crazy. Oh, uh, yeah, for sure. If, if, if the cold snap damage is affected by the, uh, the crit damage, then yeah, that would be the best. Yeah, it's just, yeah, you'd only do that for really long fights. Because these, these fights are 500k. Like, honestly, we need to go to Labyrinth. I want to do one more test here, and then I want to go to Labyrinth. Uh, Shamat, thank you very much for the... Uh... Oh, crap. I messed that up. Did I rotate again? Oh, no. That is Caltrops. Okay. I thought those were stars at first. Interesting. I'm just now realizing they're not stars. <laughs> okay. Perfect release. So now she's going to be taking a hit of damage. Every single time. Mm. I was going to try to slow things down and see what the damage numbers were, but you know what? God, I can't stop myself from spamming block. Oh, jeez. Okay. Still got that first cow drops there. Oh my god, it just double rotated on me. I only hit I hit block three times. I think that's what did it. Alright. So we got two cow drops. Let's get the third. Okay. So what kind of damage when she dashes in? That's a lot! Hold on, she's at 47% right now. Dash at me. 43%! Oh my god! <laughs> and when she does a heavy attack, it's double damage or something, right? Oh my god! 
I, you still need to get her, you know, keep her against the wall. Otherwise, those are going to run out. But damn, dude. I don't even care to finish the fight. I just want to check out the replay. Wow. Let's slow this down a little bit here. Uh, once I got the three couch drops. Okay, so here's that 47%. Wow, that's a lot of damage just for her dashing in. What the hell is what is this champion? Hold on a second too. I need to um oh I can't look here. Um all right, I'm not gonna put it on screen right now, but I needed to see what was the perfect release benefit for Caltrops. Uh, I'm just gonna read it out. Okay, so Caltrops and Flicks, blah blah blah, potency. Uh, also deals double damage when the opponent charges their heavy attack. Okay, so that's what the perfect release bonus is. And let's let's see what that looks like. Because I did get the perfect release on all these. Just, oh my god, dude. I missed it because I saw our health bar chunk down like that. Alright, so that's the dash. Here comes a heavy. 42. 42,611. Because they tried to throw a heavy attack. Oh my god. <laughs> Dude, that's wild. Wow. Add all that with the cold snap uh, constantly ticking. Yeah, dude. Oh my god. Cold snap ticking away for whatever, however much damage per second that's going on. Uh, and then you have Caltrops here. Just every time they try to throw a heavy attack, uh, you're hitting the damage cap in, in Labyrinth of Legends, you know? What the hell? This champion is uh, interesting. It's quite interesting. I uh, When's her arena? Again, <laughs> I, there's not that many skill champions that I like. And I like this skill champion. Um, so wh uh, when does she, when does she actually come out of the, uh, the arena again, round two, I'm saying, cause obviously she's, round one is already done. Um, let's open up the cutoff sheet real quick here. It's loading. All right, here we go. Um, okay. So where are we up to right now? Uh, the basic... Uh, Emma. So Emma's down here. So we got a we got a little ways to go. Emma's down here. One, two, three, four, five, six. Ooh, Zemo in in seven. Uh, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen. Yikes! That's that's still quite a ways out. Ooh, that's Zemo coming up though. Mm. Of course, the one character I avoided grinding for out of spite for her being an annoying incursion defender is really, really good. Oops. Oh, Royal. R.I.P. Maybe we should open a feature crystal or two right now to try to and scoop her. Karate Man. Stop trying to talk me into doing things. <laughs> Part oh oh I should mention part of that uh part of that ridiculous damage she would still have very strong damage but part of it is this synergy oh this is a double synergy wow double synergy with these two I didn't even realize oh that's so good oh now I want to learn American Chavez because I don't know her abilities but the fact that there's a double synergy here with these two oh that's so nice okay um this this part of the synergy wasn't really contributing anything at all it's not in realm of legends at least in other areas of the game yeah it'll be nice but like i don't need the block efficiency i didn't need the comp power right um but part of the damage was this increasing the max stack limit of all trick arrows by one normally you get two and this bumped it up to three but um it was still going to do crazy damage at two anyway, so. Uh, Dude, America is, like, so good now. 
Dude, now you make me want to open up seven star crystal. The, the one seven star crystal that I have, even. If I could pull these two, that would actually be a pretty fun new duo for me. Oh, damn it, dude. And I feel like with this champion, you could use her in a lot of situations. Because it's mostly passives that you're working with. Like the the, the stun passive, right? So you can parry. Um stun immune or debuff immune opponents uh, sorry not stun immune stun debuff immune because if they're stun immune well even passives won't work but uh and then the cold snap is passive and the caltrops is passive so the damage will will work it's the tranquilize and fragility uh that are debuffs um Okay. Hmm. What other champions have uh, Tranquilize? I'm kind of... Uh... Wait a minute. Mike, in the video, didn't you say 40% Tranquilize and a plus 12% on the perfect release? Is that 12% because it's not additive? And you were saying it adds a flat 12.5. Uh, is that how that math would work out? Or not Not even 12.5. It would just be... Yeah. Um, basically 0.4 times 0.25. Uh, oh no. That'd be 50% uh, total, I guess. Uh, Mantis? Okay. I mean, I made that like four months ago. I have no clue. <laughs> yeah, that's fair. Um, I don't. I don't even feel like it. Does it's not even worth going back in the video to look? So who cares? Um. Okay. I was trying to see the exact description of Tranquilize here. That's that's why I was asking. Um, while not performing in action, rather than running, Mantis stands still to inflict a 25% potency Tranquilize passive or 100% against science champs. This Tranquilize begins pause and lasts for one second when Mantis performs an action. Uh, as a defender, so I, what does Tranquilize do again? <laughs> like, that's what I'm trying to figure out. It doesn't really say in, um, this description, and it doesn't say here either. Uh, and I'm just making sure that I'm not confusing it with another ability. Uh, Trank reduces the ability accuracy of debuffs by a given potency. Okay, so just debuffs, though, right? <sighs> okay. Not super useful in a ton of situations, but definitely useful on occasion. Okay. Uh, it makes jugs calm down. That's that's true. I guess that's all that really matters. Uh, he is ultra mega super deluxe tangenting right now. You know what, Clarissa? Let me tangent. I said I was going to go to to Labyrinth, but honestly, here's what I want to do. I want to get out of the beta. And I want to look at my crystals because I like this champion a fair bit here. And... Um, I'd like to return to the main game now, please. And I'm not opening any crystals right now. Don't try to talk me into it, okay? I'm saying it as clear as I possibly can. I mean, you could try, but I, I, I'm not going to open crystals. Um, <laughs> good idea. Open four. <laughs> um, I'm just curious how many shards I even have. And how long this feature is even uh, here for. It's here for a while. <sighs> I forgot Shocker's in here too. Oh, and I want Shocker as well. 
Zemo would be a good pull. I don't remember a ton about Cassie Lang and Ant-Man, but I remember liking them as well. Oh, man. Kabam has released some good champions this year, dude. This is a problem, you guys. Why didn't Kabam release champs this good, like, when I was still in 4 Loki? I'm pissed, dude. <laughs> I got actually a little upset right now that there were periods of time in this game where, uh... Like, they were just releasing champs that I just didn't care about whatsoever. You know, sometimes there was, like, a long stretch of time. There was, like, three months would go by, and it was just like, I don't care about any one of these champs. Um, <laughs> you know? And then uh, we cut to, like, 2023, and it's, like, banger after banger after banger of a champ, man. Damn it. This is upsetting. Okay. Well, I don't have that many shards at the moment anyway. And the more featured crystals I pop open, the fewer opportunities I have to get seven star crystals. That's a problem as well. Banger since 2020? Uh... No. So part of it is this too. Kabam... You know, they've started, they started like their rebalancing program. Um, I mean, I guess a lot of these champs are good too, to be fair. But uh, there, there's still some in here that are like, uh, no, I would call them misses. I would call Squirrel Girl a miss. I would call Nova a miss. And he's been buffed, right? Um... I don't know, Nova's not, like, the worst champ in the world or anything, but... Uh, I personally still wish that Storm Pyramid X worked a little differently. She's a champ that I, like, I wanted to like. Um, Tarax got buffed. Um, he wasn't always good. Some people still don't even uh, necessarily care for him. Um, there's some other champs in here. This guy was supposed to get a buff. But, uh, never did. Anyway, what am I, what am I talking about? Um, none of this stuff matters. I, so, I'm not gonna pop open anything right now, but I, I, I really want to mess around with America Chavez. And, um, maybe I'd really like to get the champ as a 7 star. And, like, that actually might make me say screw it like i just want to pop this crystal open now um because kate bishop and america chavez together that just seems like a really fun combo uh in the meantime though i think it's time just to give a quick little wrap up here and uh call it a stream so kate bishop Fun champion. Um, fairly straightforward. I think the biggest things to have to learn with Kate Bishop is, is like, one, the perfect release timing, and two, the... Just, like, the, the, the rotation of her arrows, which is not necessarily something that you need to, like, spend a lot of time learning. But I did end up rotating through the arrows uh, accidentally a few times there. And, uh, yeah, I feel like I would maybe make that mistake in a high level situation too. Uh, just because if you're, if you're like me, I, I spam the, the, the left side of the screen all the time. It keeps your character in place. And, uh, also, I don't know, dude, I just been like that my entire life, always bouncing my leg or tapping on something. It's one of the reasons why I, uh, picked up drums. <laughs> so maybe it, maybe it really is just me who knows let me look at this awakened ability again uh because while i was testing her awakened i i wasn't really focused on how important it was or wasn't uh max stacks for dialed in passes increases by one plus one more for every 100 sig levels obtained okay 
that's nice, but I don't, I really don't think that matters too much. Uh, cause each, each dialed in bonus gives a, a, a 10%, uh, increase. Um, and like that, that's nice. Like 10%, that's nothing to, you know, sneeze at there. It's, it's like upping it by 30%, but you could, you could do without that, but it is a nice bonus for sure. Uh, and then the dialed in passives uh, increase the potency of trick arrows by 550%. So at this point, now we're getting more dialed in, uh, you know, stacks and increasing the potency. Now it's starting to add up that, yeah, this is, this is quite a bit here. Uh, and then the third point is striking the opponent's block pauses all trick arrow effects um, as well. That's actually pretty decent too. Yeah, I would say her Awaken ability is not required, but it's a pretty solid Awaken ability. There's going to be times where you can't really... Like, you need to keep up the, the the passives or debuffs from your Trick Arrows. And there will be times where you cannot heavy attack the opponent, especially, you know, against the wall to refresh those things. So if just a quick tap on the block pauses it long enough for like the opponent to throw their special and then you heavy attack from there or something um it's a nice little bonus uh dang imagine if you open three features and had a sig 40 kate if i opened three features i wouldn't want a sig 40 kate i'd want three brand new champions one of them being kate one of them being shocker and the other one surprise me kabam <laughs> but yeah I, I, I think her Awakened ability adds quite a bit of power to this champ, though. So, when I was when I was helping to make I-Bomb, I've said this a few times, but it's worth saying again for the people that um, haven't heard the inside scoop. Um, I never, just to be totally clear, never worked for Kabam. This was just like a one-off little, uh, uh, little thing where they were like, hey, do you want to help in designing a, a champ we're trying this out and um i was like yeah duh of course so i helped uh kabam broccoli design i bomb kabam broccoli uh made some of the strongest champs in the game like hercules and kitty and stuff and um what he told me is that he likes to put roughly 30 percent power in uh in the awaken ability uh, and it's different for every champion. Some champs, like, you know, they just can't be played without it, right? Like Aegon or something like that. Um, so, of course, it's different for every champ. But, like, on average, roughly, like, 30% power. And you can see that here. Um, in increasing the, the poison stack by almost 30%. And then increasing the, uh, the effects uh, duration by 30%, right? And... Uh, that's kind of what this feels like here. It, it feels like it's maybe roughly about 30% of the power of Kate Bishop um, for having this champion, you know, awakened or not. Ma honestly, maybe a little bit more than 30% because you're, you're getting three extra of those stacks, but that only, that only matters if you're throwing, like, many specials. So, um... Yeah, you can't you can't stack up the you're not gonna get five dialed in passives right away anyway. Uh but you're also increasing the potency uh as well, so and the little the little bonus there of the pausing stuff. So I don't know. I'd say yeah, it's probably roughly about 30% um power on this champ. So you whoops. So you can play you can play Kate unawakened, but just know that that's that's about what you're giving up with this champ. Is probably about 30% of her total power. So, um, But everything still works. All of her abilities still uh, function. Um, awaken or not. Okay. Uh, and yeah, I guess just the, 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 the absolute very quick uh, end of this recap is that I really enjoy the champ. I don't know where I'd place her in terms of favorite champs of the year. But fairly high. Uh, <laughs> pretty damn high. She might be number two. I, I, I think I like Kate more than I like Adam Warlock. I don't know. It might just be that I don't like a lot of skill champions. And I do like a lot of cosmic champs. So maybe there's some of that appeal there where it's like, 
you know, just favoring a, a, a skill champ that I enjoy. Either way, I, I would consider, like, top three favorite of the, of the champs that I've tested this year. Still need to test these two is all that's left for me to, that I'm uh, behind on for the year. But anyway, I really enjoyed the champ. Um... And yeah, I think I think that's I think that's it for the stream. What other champs were designed by uh, content creators? Um, Dragon for Jubilee and Royal for um, uh, Red Goblin. And, and just to be clear, we were we were helping. You know, there was still uh, still like a lot of the heavy lifting was was done by Kabam. It was just kind of a like hey what what would you like to see let's let's collaborate on something so it was cool uh it was a good experience um i don't know that they'll ever do it again because well since then uh they've hired people from the community um i i don't know how many in total but there's at least uh j nick and uh dll um, Janik on the balancing side of things and DLL a champion designer too. So uh, maybe they maybe that's what they were doing. Maybe they were like feeling that out. It was like, uh, could the is the is <laughs> would the community be able to uh, to design champs or something like that if we hired from the community? I don't know. I don't know why they did it, but either way. Um, okay. On that note, though, I, I think I'm gonna end the stream here. Very fun champ. Worth ranking. Uh, that damage is bonkers. Think you'll like Moondragon too? She's a lot of fun. I'm going to have to test her. All right. Um, before I go, though, she out out to Oxygen for being tonight's biggest day. Let's give it up for the stuff that gives us life. <gasps> and also, thank you to everyone else, too. Thank you all for tuning in. Uh, thank you, Roger, for <laughs> the double membership. I hope you get that sorted, my friend. Um, and yeah, I'll see you guys tomorrow, normal time. Tomorrow, when? Ooh. I've been meaning to do an earlier stream for a while, and tomorrow might be the day for it. We'll see. Either early or normal time. I'll be here, though. And yeah, I'll see you guys. Have a good night, everybody. Wait a minute. Oh, damn, BG didn't get to read about all the characters who aren't Kate Bishop and Hawkeye. <laughs>